In today's video, we're going to cover the concept of pressure. We can define pressure as the force per unit of area. And we can quantify it using this formula, which says that pressure, measured in pascals, is equal to force divided by area. So if you hit a nail with a hammer, you would be applying a force to the area of the nail head which would result in a pressure on the nail. For example, if you applied 800 newtons of force and the area of the nail head was 0.0001 meters squared, then you'd generate a pressure of 8 million pascals, or 8,000 kilopascals. In this case, the pressure was created from the collision of two solid objects, the hammer and the nail. In the case of fluids though, which includes both liquids and gases, the particles that they're made of constantly bang into their surroundings and generate pressure. For example, if we had a container of gas, the collisions of the gas particles with the wall would create pressure because each collision applies a force to the inside area of the container. The same thing happens with liquids. For example, if we had a beaker of water, it would apply forces outwards in all directions as the water particles collide with the glass walls on the sides and bottom and with the air at the surface. So this would again create pressure. We refer to these two types in gases and liquids as fluid pressure. Whatever the source is though, one important thing to be aware of is that we always use the perpendicular force, which means the component of the force which is at right angles to the surface it's colliding with. To understand what this means, imagine that two particles strike the walls of this container, both with the same force. This particle on the right is striking at a perfect right angle, or perpendicularly to the surface. This means that the entire force would be used to generate pressure on the container wall. In contrast, for this particle on the left, only a small component of its force would be perpendicular to the container, as we can see if we split its force into vertical and horizontal components. This means that it's only this much smaller force that would be used to create pressure. In practical terms, just think of it as the difference between a head-on collision and grazing a wall at an angle. Before we finish, let's try a quick question. Calculate the perpendicular force exerted on a 0.5 meter squared area by a pressure of 60 kilopascals. If we turn our equation into a formula triangle, we can see that in order to get force, we need to multiply pressure by area. Pressure is measured in pascals though, not kilopascals. So we first have to multiply the 60 kilopascals by 1000 to get 60,000 pascals, which we can then multiply by our area of 0.5 meters squared to get 30,000 newtons or 30 kilonewtons which would be our final answer. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.